So going back to expose, what expose allows you to do is to uh, let you set hotspots on uh, what the top corners and uh, sides of your screen. So say for example, uh, I have a desktop set on my top right. I can view my desktop by just moving or hovering my mouse right on the top right and I can cancel that out by uh, repeating the process. Uh, you can also uh, set to all windows uh, which I have on my top left so say if I open up or if I had multiple windows I can go to the top left and uh, I can view all my windows and I can navigate through uh, each separate window uh, also I could uh, set my dashboard which is uh, on the bottom left and I can basically uh, see all my widgets. Uh, what widgets are is uh, small little applications which uh, do normal day-to-day -day tasks. Uh, you can click the plus icon to add um, different ones uh, like I can add this game here, this tile game and also you can add convert uh, currency converters, uh, translation stuff and then um, just have it there. Uh, you can remove it by clicking the plus sign again and just clicking X and remove it. Uh, you can download all these, uh, you can download loads of different uh, widgets on the official Apple website, so just check that out. Um, so, yeah, that's expose. Anything else you need to know uh, would be uh, usually like general stuff such as uh, your trackpad. Uh, you can scroll through uh, your web pages and stuff using two fingers uh, so say right now I have two fingers on the trackpad and scroll and I'm just scrolling up and down you can also uh, set the sensitivity of it all and uh, set uh, the control zoom so uh, right now I have it set to control where um, if I hold control and use my two fingers I can zoom in and zoom out of um, any part of the screen so um, yeah that's basically uh, the trackpad uh, you can also customize uh, the account, your account preferences um, the dates uh, you can customize your internet connection you know just generally just have a look around at uh, system preferences you should be able to do um, or change any of your uh, actual original operating system preferences from there so um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, yeah I'll hopefully do some more okay since this video has gone over to two parts I've decided to add a little bonus and um, just talk about uh, some extra stuff so yeah so uh, you can see down underneath the, on, on the dock here you can see that there's a little light underneath um, underneath all the icons that uh, I've been using uh, and basically what this means is that <coughs> sorry, the program isn't uh, shut down properly meaning that uh, it's hidden, it's actually hidden in the background like uh, you know how MSN is when you try and close it on a Windows platform it doesn't actually close, it actually just uh, minimizes or gets hidden in the background um, same concept here, anything with a light underneath is hidden <coughs> the best way to actually um, close the um, close or quit this actual program is to uh, click the icon and then hold Apple and press Q and what that does is um, it actually quits the entire program completely uh, which you can see here where Firefox the light isn't there anymore um, same with iTunes and uh, Mplow so, um, I recommend doing this if you're not using uh, particular softwares and stuff. Since um, it does actually, if you have too many stuff, too much stuff open, then it will slow down. Other handy short keys um, include uh, when you're browsing, where you can use Apple and T to open new tabs, and Apple and N to open new windows. Uh, you can also uh, copy and paste by uh, highlighting any piece of text and pressing Apple and C to copy 
and then uh, using Apple and V to paste. You could, <coughs> sorry, you can also um, press Apple and Z uh, to undo any mistakes that you've done. Uh, and um, other things you could do uh, also is uh, highlight multiple items by using uh, Apple by holding on Apple and clicking on any uh, file that you need to so you can just drag this into recycle bin if you want and uh, do it like that um, an alternate way of uh, deleting stuff could be uh, by selecting something and then pressing Apple and backspace which uh, acts like a delete key since uh, Apple keyboard doesn't have a delete key or most doesn't anyway, most don't anyway uh, you can save it, uh, you can save files by going to your trash again and uh, point it back to where it was and also uh, to em empty stuff just click on the little empty icon and um, hopefully it will delete everything <laughs> in case you are wondering how to print screen uh, what you could do is press shift uh, apple and 4 and uh, you'll be able to select uh, whatever area you want to print screen uh, you could just copy the dot and um, view that or you could also uh, press shift apple and free which will take a print screen of your entire uh, desktop 